everybody, how you guys doing today? Some little updates with the apartment. Rug is now laid down. Julia's a little upset because the rug was originally supposed to match the couch. The couch looks like a little bluish. It was supposed to be full gray, but it's not too big of a deal. We just hung up this little key holder near the door and there's a little basket and throw in whatever. And then in the guest bedroom, we got the new comforter on there. It looks really nice. And in the bathroom, there's this little holder in the middle of the sink area. As you can see, we have some products in there. Place is looking good so far. It feels cozy, which is good. And Julia just made some chicken, crock pot chicken, which is her first time doing that. Yeah, and it came out perfect. Really? Yeah, I'm, I just made it so like for our meal preps or like putting it in quesadillas or on top of rice. Mm -hmm. You see like the fat? Yeah, just like shred skin, it off. Ew. We have our TV coming in a couple days. Obviously the center console, we're replacing that since it's broken. So I got a new one coming. I told you in a previous vlog that I, uh, I think it's Cody. All right. Hello? I got to love your pillows? Yeah, it was for dinner. <laughs> Grotisserie. Yo, it's so like hella good in crock here. Crock pot chicken. It's kind of like rotisserie. It's pretty much. It tastes exactly like rotisserie chicken. Yeah. You look like a crock pot. You look more like a crock pot than I do. You're fucking no, wider. I just look like I'm disabed. I parked in a handicap spot. He's a disabled crock pot. <laughs> <laughs> Who put these together? I did. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I'm surprised. Well, I'm actually a little nervous to sit in it. Let's see. The whole thing breaks. Yeah, let's hope not. Are these the same stools? Yeah. <laughs> what? They're the bent ones? Yeah, so here's the thing. Julia was mistaken and... No, 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 you're good, you're good. I hadn't unwrapped all of them. I unwrapped the two that came together, but they didn't put like... So they, they pretty much wrapped them wrong. So wait, where's the crooked part? No, it wasn't crooked. It was... It was supposed to be like that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. When'd you figure that out? When I opened up the other packages oh. and realized that they just packaged them wrong together. No, I got an email and they said... Oh, yes. Yeah. See, yeah. They, they curved right here into the middle. Yeah. Okay. So we get the stool set up too. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Everything was just going wrong that day. I was like, another thing. You were just stressing out. Yeah. I didn't realize, it's all good. But yeah, as I said in the previous vlog, I'm getting a brand new PC set up. A company is actually building me a custom PC, which is gonna be dope. So of course I had to buy a new desk for out here and all the equipment. I'll show you guys some of the equipment that I got so far. It's kind of just like stashed away in our closet over here. This came in today. We got the camera stand for when I'm streaming, brand new speakers, and there's a subwoofer in here as well. A cord to connect a camera to the cam link, stream deck, a microphone. Pretty much the same stuff that I have back in Jersey besides the speakers are a little bit different. I'm not a huge fan of the one that I have in Jersey. A little update on my poison ivy. Almost fully gone on my forehead. Uh, my arm's looking a little crusty. There's still some red bumps there. The worst part was on my right arm. It's clearing up a bit. <laughs> but Cody, what happened with you? you Somehow, some way, I also got poison ivy. Hmm. Mm. I wonder where that right, came so from. You got yours when you were in Jersey. Yeah. Two days after you left. Yeah. I went on a camping trip. I was fine. The day after I came over here was when I got poison ivy. I don't know if I got it on my camping trip or or if something that you own has the oil on it somehow, some way, possibly, and then I came over here and got it. I really have no idea. See, it's weird to me because Julia didn't get it. Maybe Julia just isn't allergic to poison ivy. There's people out there that aren't. I really don't even know where I got it from. And now, Cody, where's your bumps at? So I got I got some bumps right here. These ones are actually kind of cleared up. I, I literally because you're a tattoo. Yeah. Well, I took it and I scrubbed them with a paper towel last night to where they were like open. Yeah. And then I threw some Benadryl itch cream on there, which cleared it up a little bit but i got some oh, bumps right one. here yeah. i got dude i got it in my waistband oh. which is annoying because my shorts are constantly just irritating Rubbing it all day long i got a little spot right here on my leg and yeah. then uh, i got a little bit right here on my wrist as well so i also have it underneath my tits that's hot <laughs> which is fire <laughs> so i mean it's not as bad mine dude this was this was bad on my arm yeah i took and i like literally i washed my sheets today all my pillowcases mm -hmm. my comforter i have a cleaning lady coming on <laughs> to clean the whole apartment <laughs> she gets it <laughs> no i hope not yeah that would suck like, you know I, I don't know where it is yeah i don't know where i'm getting it from and if you don't clean the oil if you keep coming in contact with that oil you're going to continuously keep getting poison ivy so. yeah you know it's also weird i mean fun fact you're not supposed to burn poison ivy plants right because if you burn it and the smoke gets in your lungs it can cause an outbreak in your system which is wild which i've had happen really it wasn't poison ivy it was poison sumac oh yes it was 
bad. Do you imagine having your insides itch and you can't scratch or do anything. You're just about. coughing the whole time, probably. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, dude, it's, I was probably like 13 or 14 years old. I was like weed eating, so mm -hmm. I weed eated through like poison sumac. So not only did I have a rash on the outside, I didn't realize it was poison sumac and I was throwing all the brush into our burn pile at my grandparents' house. Burned that, inhaled the smoke, and my life was, my life was in shambles. That fucking sucks. Quite a few weeks. Yeah. Yeah, definitely don't want that. So I don't even go out in the woods that much, bro. When I was a little kid, I would, but like, yes, anything. I would have gotten it from like fishing and going. And yeah, camping. I can't. I thought I would have gotten it, but like I said, I didn't get it until four days after I got back from camping. Yeah, I don't know where it's coming from, but Me I blame Julia. Yeah. <laughs> I just come to the conclusion that I'm accident prone, dude. Yeah. Poison ivy, my knees messed up. Last time I was in Jersey, I fell off the bike. I'm just like, I'm just gonna chill. Yeah. I'm just gonna hang out for a while. Fucking accident waiting to happen over here. Literally. Next he's gonna try and get a girl pregnant, but he ends up getting pregnant. <laughs> I'm already pregnant. Yeah. Yeah, that was the time to tell you. What happened to the crutches? I'm sick of them. You're over it? Yeah, they hurt my armpits. Yeah, I, I bet. Yeah. I had them before and it sucked. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try walking it off. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't think there's any walking off to do with this. I think I'm gonna need surgery, but in the meantime, like I'll just hobble around. I think after time it'll heal itself, you know, you just gotta wait. Tesla looking sexy right now. Low key jealous. <laughs> Actually nothing, dude. You know what? I really enjoy driving this thing. Do you? Yeah. It's dude, not bad. I drove this for, you know, like two weeks and then when he left I took it to bring Jackson to daycare. And I was like, yo, this car's a piece of shit. <laughs> I felt like I was like falling apart. I don't know, Julia thinks I look hot driving it, so. Oh my god. <laughs> what, she said that? Uh, yeah. So this was an interesting morning. We're laying in bed. We woke up a little bit later today because we went to sleep really late last night. So it was like ten or eleven, and we hear what seems like someone was walking into our apartment. I felt like I kind of heard my name being said. Julia was like still half asleep, so I woke her up. I'm like, did you hear that? And she's like, yeah, did, did somebody in her apartment? So I went out and checked, I didn't see anybody. But then when Julia fully woke up, she realized that, oh, we received some packages. And usually when you get packages from Amazon, they take a picture of it and place it outside your door. Well, those packages were inside of our door which means somebody took the packages and brought them into our locked apartment, which I'm assuming it was obviously the workers at the apartment. But like, what if they just walked in and we were completely naked? What if I was naked? Yeah, yeah. for real. And what if I lived They didn't even knock. They just walked right in. What if I lived here alone too? I'd be so scared. Yeah, that's terrifying. Imagine. So there was like a bunch of Amazon boxes outside and, and they were just chilling right here as soon as we opened up the door. And not only that, I guess they were like, cleaning the area because we have a mat here and so do all of our neighbors and we're like where did they put our mat <laughs> so they're hanging up right here so i gotta get hours and put it back but you can see the other neighbors mat over there too but yeah i guess they were just like cleaning this area out of all the apartments that i've ever lived at that has never happened yo julie and i are like actually tripping out right now we just stopped to grab some food and we walk out and i look over to my right and i see a crumble cookie and Oh my god, are we delusional? Wait, let's see if it's Bro, we open. looked it up, and the for closest one was in Tampa the last time we checked. Yeah. I guess they just opened one. Yo, that's so clutch. It's literally right next to us. Damn it! What, they're not open? They're oh, building they're it. building one. Okay, now it makes sense as to why we didn't see it when we typed it in on the maps, yeah. but that's pretty clutch. But I guess the more ironic part of this was when we stepped out from eating, I was like, dang, I feel like my blood sugar is low. Like, I need something sweet right now. And then I see crumble cookie, and I'm like, oh, that would be perfect. We came over to the mall. Julia specifically wants to get some clothes because she didn't bring much out here because she only had these like two little carry on suitcases because she ordered a new suitcase to come in and it didn't come in on time. So it's probably there yeah. in Jersey right now. It actually just arrived yesterday. Oh, really? It's been sitting out in the rain. Well, I'll see if my parents can take it in. Yeah. But this mall is beautiful. It's huge. So nice. And there's so many different options and stores we can go to. It's really clutch and it's so local to us. Well, you guys will see the damage in like 30 seconds probably. Yeah. They have a whole store dedicated to flip-flops. That's when you know you're in Florida. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I just got to point out the architecture on this pottery barn is friggin' dope. Like, look at the barnyard doors on the outside. <laughs> Julia's fixing her hair, but they have these, like, workout mirrors. I get it, but I think they're kind of silly in my opinion. Like, you can pick, like, different classes and stuff to do and, like, displays it. I don't know. I guess, I guess the concept's cool, but I just would never see myself actually using this thing. There's the first door. I'm gonna be real. That's why I, like, never buy clothes because the clothes that I like, obviously, are nice and they're a little bit more pricey. Like, jeez, bro. That's, like, I got, like, five things. <laughs> Wait, really five? <laughs> Yeah, it's like five or six. Yeah, I'm gonna got, count right now. I got three. Okay, I lied. Seven. Okay. All right. That's okay. 
<laughs> it's still a lot though. Yeah. About to start shopping at Walmart. <laughs> By the way, that is not a roast to anybody that shops at Walmart. Seriously. I don't blame you. It, it's it, it's absurd. I mean, hey, Julia bought shoes the other day at Walmart. The little slipper thingies. They're so cute. Yeah. And they're comfy. Julia got her socks that were very much needed. And what are you uh, getting now? They were on sale. I, I was obsessed. I got like two pairs of socks. Two Wait, pairs? Six. But it came in pairs of three, I think. So you have six pairs total? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Two pairs of socks, that'll be $50. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were like nine bucks. What are you getting? I use like lip maximizers. Oh, okay. Oh. Is that the stuff that you have on and I think it's chapstick and it gets on me and it burns my yeah. lips? Yeah. yeah, it like makes your lips all tingly and I always have to go and scrub my lips to get it off. It's very annoying. I don't understand how you deal with that. It's a nice tingle. That's amazing. It's almost the same feeling as when you take pre-workout and like that beta alanine feeling that like you get like the itchy face and like tingly lips. Yeah. Except the tingly lips on that stuff is that on like steroids. Yeah. Cause you're putting it right on. Mm. Bro, why is everything sexualized? Like they have to sexualize lipstick and call it orgasm. No, you're sexualizing. Excuse, that's a sexual term. What are you saying? The orgasm blush is the best selling on this brand. Yeah, I'm just saying it. Like why? Hello? I don't know. <laughs> There's a mascara called Better Than Sex too. Grandma gets it. <laughs> I'm gonna release an ice cream brand and call it Jizz Cream. Oh <laughs> I don't know why, but my blood sugar is so low right now, so I just got some ice cream, a little cup. Julie and I both. It's a good excuse. It's not even an excuse. I wish it was, but it's really not. I'm just, I feel like I'm dying. All right, so we walked around the mall for like two hours, and literally the only thing I got was the first store. <laughs> that's, what the heck? Isn't that yeah, funny? That's it. You didn't really get too much either. I feel like we did most of the damage in that first store. Yeah. Oh my god, I was right! Julia opened up the pair of friggin' socks and there's just one in each pack. <laughs> and they're long. I don't wear long. We just got our brand new TV in. It is a QLED 75 inch. Super excited to set this up. We're gonna do that right now. Let's go, I'm hyped. Oh shit. Hit the fan. Hey, looking good. Hello. Experience the extraordinary. She just stops talking mid-sentence. All right, we're gonna get this all set up. Julia ordered another light. So we have one over in this corner and we're gonna have another one right here. They're gonna match. This TV console is like the perfect size for this TV, which is great. Just finished installing an update for the TV. I like this remote, looks pretty nice. Yeah, except this one's black, the one we have at home is silver. The silver one comes with the 8K resolution TV of this. This is the 4K resolution. Just doing some test videos, looks pretty good. Hey, let's go. Got the two lights set up, TV set up. It's getting there, slowly but surely. I was at Cody's doing a live stream and I just came home and Julia set up the little table that we got and put the flowers on it. Oh, it looks cute. Doesn't that look so cute? Yeah, it looks good. Beach day. Beautiful area. Maybe Julie and I will finally get some color today. Yeah. We're out in Florida and we're literally the palest people here, so. Yeah. <laughs> we literally haven't sat out at all. <laughs> oh, the sun, I'm literally tearing off, it's so bright. The sand out here feels so different. It's almost like it's fake, I don't get it. But, oh my God, look how many seashells there are. That's crazy. There's a whole pile here. Pile there, pile down there. We were out on that beach for five hours. I didn't get any color. I don't know how. And you didn't get burnt. I think because I just lathered you up well. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> With what? What? The cream? Stop. Sunscreen. But I didn't put like an excessive amount on and it was just like SPF 30. It wasn't anything wild. So I was definitely a little red, but I literally got like no color. Who knows? I Maybe I'll wake up with like a little bit of a tan. Possibly. Cause you didn't fully like wash yourself like with soap. You know yeah, I, mean? I kind of like just did like a rinse in the shower. Just uh, running. How did you do that? What? And not tell me. Real life frogger. Ooh, that's not hitting right now though. That looks nice. <laughs> So our shower head, the water pressure completely sucks. So I bought a new one. I bought this one online. I saw it on like TikTok, but I didn't realize how tiny it was. I don't know if I just got a size too small or something, but it's not that big. But it's got these like little rocks in here that apparently help clear out the water. And I think it also has LED lights that you can change like three different colors with. Not sure how the lights work. Maybe there's a battery or something in there, but I'm gonna set this up right now. So we just gotta take this one off. Oh, oh shit. Oh my gosh, look at all the sunburn I have on my feet. Yeah, mine's coming out more. Yeah, maybe <laughs> we did get some color. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, there we go. That's very small, but let's test it. So I didn't really read the directions. It was kind of free balling this. Let's see what happens. I wonder if the LED lights go on as soon as I turn it on. So. Oh yeah. Oh, that pressure's way better already. Why is it leaking? Uh, I gotta tighten it a bit. But even though it's leaking, it's still 10 times better than it was. You, I don't know, it doesn't look, you think? Yeah, that pressure's way better. All right, cool. 
like, what does it go through, a filter? Yeah. Yeah, these beads are supposed to like filter it out. It just changed the color. Cool. I guess it does it on song. Go turn the light off. Let's see it. Hey! <laughs> about the party in here. What? Oh, red. But yeah, that's the three colors that it goes through. By the way, we hung our towels up on here. Julia bought these little 3M tape sticky things. So when we open the door, let's grab our towel. I put this on here. She didn't like it at first. It makes sense. But it makes sense. It's convenient. So then she put hers on there. <laughs> Just got a shower. I gotta say, although it is small, it does some damage. That's what she said. Does the job for me. I'm happy. Some more PC stuff just came in. Got my Alienware keyboard and Alienware mouse. These are the same ones I use back home. I really like them. And of course, this beast of a monitor, 2K resolution, 240 hertz. That's the same one I got for Cody. And then of course, I am gonna be streaming, so I'm gonna have two other monitors on each side of that monitor. So I ordered two other monitors. They're 2K resolution as well, but they support up to 140 hertz. They're not as nice, but honestly, I'm not gonna be gaming on those. So even and then I really don't even need the 2K resolution, but I just got it. Talking about PCs, my PC is still being built tomorrow, Thursday, October 21st. If you guys wanna watch the live stream of them building it, go over and follow me on twitch.tv slash Lance210. At 9 p.m. Eastern time, I will be live. So make sure to have my notifications turned on so you know the minute I go live, and you guys can join in and watch the PC being built. Completely custom PC, it's gonna have my logo on it, so you guys will get a sneak peek of it before it even comes in and I show you on the vlog. Last Poison Ivy update, it's pretty much completely gone on my head. I did get a little bit of sun, Burn, but like it doesn't hurt at all. Just a little bit of color. My arm, it's almost completely gone. There's like little red bumps still, barely anything. And then that little speck right there, that's about it. But that is gonna do it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.